Well, hello guys, here Mr. G with another video. This time in the latest circuit for the grade 12, we continue with the um, challenge test for an electric circuit or for electric circuit. This is a very difficult question. It's not that difficult, but the circuit is complicated. So let's look at it, but take a pen and a pen and a, and a book so you can take some notes and solve the question try to solve the question okay now this circuit is quite interesting because it looks a serious circuit but these cables that you can see here these conducting wires that you can see on this side here are not making the circuit to be in series but rather in parallel so this circuit is in parallel so let's quickly speak about the parallel connection okay now a circuit is in parallel when the terminal of that components are the same so that is important and as a result of the circuit or the components of the circuit being in parallel then the current split not the other way around so the current split doesn't make the current uh, the circuit to be in parallel okay the parallel circuit make the current to split so now if we go to this circuit let me erase this ugly um, conducting wire what is happening let's look quickly at these resistors and the terminal of the resistor which terminals are common so let's start with the first terminal here this terminal here which resistor have the same terminal as this one there so if we follow that one that cable is conduct is connecting to these two resistors which means these two terminals are together so they have the same terminal okay so the current can but they have the same terminal there so this one would be if you have the two resistors for instance and then you have a long cable connecting to that resistor like that that is more or less what is happening there and the other side the other side of the battery these two resistors have the common terminal as you can see there but they through this conducting wire is connecting to the other terminal of the other resistor there so if like they are connecting now here together in this way and then this one in this other way so this circuit is in parallel and as a result obviously the current will split so if we know that then the circuit and the problem is sorted it won't be difficult anymore all you need to know is that this circuit these three um, resistors are connected in parallel because they have the same terminal guys so let's go back the terminal of this side of the r1 okay is connecting with this terminal of these are two and three as you can see there they have the same terminal same terminal let me write terminal okay same terminal there and on the other side this side here you can see have the same end of that terminal means the end of the resistor eh? of the resistance they and this one have this one this one have same terminal okay so these resistors are connected in parallel these are connected in parallel just say parallel parallel connection so these okay, resistors are connected in parallel it is difficult to picture this one but the main purpose here the main thing here is the terminal now remember what we start saying here okay the resistors or any components are connected in parallel when they have the same terminal okay that is important very 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 important they have the same terminal therefore they are connected in parallel and as a result then current will spread so the resistors are not connected in parallel because current spread current spread because the resistors are connected in parallel and well saying that we can now calculate the resistance of resistor r2 note that the three of them have the same resistor they say it in the question three resistor is the same or the resistance is the same resistance of resistors is 
the same okay so we're looking for resistant r2 which in actual fact is any of them we know the current we know the emf and we know the internal resistance therefore if we know that we can say 3.1 is going to be equal to um emf is equal to current multiplied by external resistance plus internal resistance we can use this formula there we have everything but we can look now quickly for the um, external resistance okay and we'll speak about that one real fast so let's substitute what we have and this one is going to be 12 it's going to be 12 let me fix that ugly 12 12 is equal to current which is a 3 amperes multiplied by external resistance plus the internal which is 0 comma Four. So if you solve this one, you get that this 12 divided by 3 equal to R plus 0, 0,4. You get the answer is 3,6. So external resistance is equal to 3,6 um, ohm. So now we're going to calculate the uh, parallel resistance. Now remember the following. The three resistors have the same resistance. So we come into the formula of the parallel resistance. 1 divided by resistance in parallel is equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. Okay, but now what you need to know, and let's write it here, R1 is equal to R2 and is equal to R3. We don't have the value, but they are equal. So if we substitute here, we have, for instance, that R M1 over RP is equal to 3 divided by R. Either one of them because it's the same. They have the same resistance, okay? This one is simple mathematics, guys. So if you solve this one, RP is equal to 3 divided by R to the minus 1, okay? Um, and when you solve that one, you get that RP, okay? is equal to um, R divided by 3. Now, if we substitute, if we substitute here, which one is RP? We did just calculate it here. We just calculated here because that is the external resistance. Remember, the circuit is completely in parallel. So this one is um, 3,6. So it is 3,6 which is equal to R divided by 3. So R is equal to 3,6 multiplied by 3. And the answer is 10,8. 10,8 ohms. Here we are. That is the answer for the resistance of resistor R1, but in actual fact is the answer for the resistance of each of the resistor because it's equal. So guys, this question is not that bad. The only problem is the connection to understand that this one is in parallel. Now, if we go to question 3.2, how will the reading of the voltmeter be affected if switch S1 and S2 are open? Well, well, if the switches are open, then the connections, the whole connection is going to be in series. Okay, and therefore the total external resistance will increase. Now, let's explain that one. We already spoke about the question like that. Okay, this one is question 3.2. And let's see. When switches are open, the connections are in series. Now, they most definitely all of them are connected one next to another and as a result, one path for the current to flow and so on. So they in series and therefore the total external resistance increases. So R external total increases. Let's write here. Increases. Okay. Now, what else? EMF stay constant. Internal resistance stay constant. Okay. So now what happened? Because the external resistance increases the current will decrease look here that external resistance is increased therefore the current is going to uh, decrease the current is going to decrease 
Okay. Now, what else it happened? What happened to the volmeter? The volmeter is reading the external potential different guys. How is it going to be affected? So let's go to this formula here. We already explained this one in the previous video, so please go and watch it. EMF is equal to um, external potential different uh, plus internal potential difference. Okay, so if we substitute, we're looking for the external one. So we are going to substitute everything here, not, not in values, but let's say EMF is constant, V external, we're looking for it, plus V internal is current multiplied by internal resistance, okay? If we rearrange this one, we have that the external potential difference is equal to EMF minus current multiplied by internal resistance. Remember now, this one is constant, R is constant, but current is um, smaller. So what happened to the external potential difference? Now you are subtracting a constant number by a one that is going to be smaller than before. Therefore, the potential difference is going to increase. And that is the end of this question. I hope it helped. It is tricky, the circuit. The question itself is not that bad. As long as you, as soon as you understand the circuit, the question is sorted. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope it helped. If it did help, please thumb up, subscribe for the channel. I'll see you next time. We still have to solve question four. Here is question four. Very interesting question. Very, very interesting question. You have to work with a system of equations here. But we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Um, thumb up. Mr. G here.